It's coming up to Valentine's Day, so today in Surprisingly Connected Etymologies, we're giving you some words straight from the heart. I don't know which you prefer from your Valentine, but although a cordial welcome may seem rather different than a hearty welcome, etymologically they're the same. Hearty, of course, comes from heart, a word that can be traced back through the Germanic branch of languages to the Proto-Indo-European root cared. This root also leads to Latin cor, heart, and from that through French to words such as cordial and courage, both literally hearty, as well as concord, literally hearts together, and discord, hearts apart. The noun cordial had the original sense of medicine, food, or drink that stimulates the heart, or, I suppose, a love potion, if you will. Now, if you love someone, you should probably believe them, at least etymologically speaking. Believe comes from Old English beluvan, to have faith or confidence in someone, with a change in prefix from the earlier yulivan, with the intensifying prefix ye. This, in turn, comes from Proto-Germanic galaubian, believe, literally hold dear, from the Proto-Indo-European leub, care, desire, love. This root also leads to Proto-Germanic luboyan, Old English luvian, and finally Modern English love. Now, you might not want to believe the object of your love, especially if you feel passion for a fiend, but perhaps etymologically it's not surprising you could feel that way. Fiend comes from the Old English feogun, to hate, and means literally hating, and therefore someone who is hostile or an enemy. It can be traced back to the Proto-Indo-European root pay, to hurt, and this possibly comes into Latin as the verb pati, to suffer, and eventually English passion in the sense of suffering. Think the Passion of Christ. And only in the 14th century did the word gain the more positive sense of strong emotion desire. I guess if you are passionate about someone who isn't good for you, it can lead to suffering. For instance, unhealthy relationships can lead to jealousy. The words jealousy and zeal both express strong, even obsessive feelings for something. And etymologically this makes sense, as they both come from Greek zelos, which could mean both jealousy and fervor enthusiasm. Ultimately this Greek word comes from Proto-Indo-European ya, seek, request, desire. Now there are many reasons you might desire someone. Some people use embellishments such as makeup or clothing to enhance their natural beauty, and I suppose etymologically speaking that's the point. The root of embellish comes from Latin bellus, pretty, handsome, charming, and this Latin word also leads to vulgar Latin bellitas, Old French belte, and later beauté, before becoming English beauty. You might also be attracted to the sound of their voice. Are there some accents you find particularly charming? Well, etymologically, this makes sense. Accent comes from Old French asson, from Latin acentus, made up of ad, to, plus cantus, song, which is a loan translation of Greek prosoidia, a song sung to music, made up of pros, to, and oide, song, and of course we get prosody from this Greek word. Latin cantus is the past participle of the verb canera, to sing, which produced another Latin word meaning song, carmen, with the dissimulation of n to r because canmen was too difficult to say, and this became charm in Old French and charm in English, through the idea of singing or chanting magical spells. The music of language can be very enchanting, another related word, but if you're not so good with incantations, basically an etymological doublet of enchantment, you can always go back to that love potion from before. Thanks for watching. This is one in a series of occasional short videos about connected etymologies. To see more, you can also follow The Endless Knot on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.